Good morning, good morning, good morning. Can you see my shirt? I am excellent. Can you see that? I am excellent. Yay, and you are too. So let's jump right in this morning. Good morning. Welcome challenging times as opportunities to trust me. You have me beside you and my spirit within you. So no set of circumstances is too much for you to handle. When the path before you is dotted with difficulties, beware of measuring your strength against those challenges. That calculation is certain to riddle you with anxiety. Without me, you wouldn't make it past the first hurdle. Amen. The way you walk through demanding days is to grip my hand tightly and stay in close communication with me. Let your thoughts and spoken words be richly flavored with trust and thankfulness. Regardless of the day's problems, I can keep you in perfect peace as you stay close to me. Our scriptorial reference for today is going to come from James 1 and 2. One of my favorite scriptures. <laughs> Count it all joy, my brothers and sisters, when you meet trials of various kinds. And then Philippians 4 and 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I think about um, <clears throat> so many times uh, we, we become just so anxious because of everything that's going on. And, and, and I mean, as we should, because it's a crazy time. But I just want to remind you that Isaiah 26 and 3 says, you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. Why is his mind stayed on you? Because he trusts in you. And that's major. That's really major. And I had a thought that I came across that I wanted to share. Faith is taking the first step, even when you don't see the whole staircase. You ever thought about that? You see a staircase. You go to bottom step. You can't really see where that staircase is taking you. But more often than not, whether it's curiosity or something somebody told you, you keep walking. And that's faith. Because you don't know if one of the steps are going to break. You don't know if it's going to go in a, din a dungeon and you can fall through a hole. But you take that first step. And the time we live in now, we got to exercise some faith so we can get that peace. I know we talked about peace yesterday, but I think it's worth revisiting again today because the enemy wants to steal our peace. When we're anxious and all over the place, our peace is absent. And you just, you don't know if you're coming or going. But God has made us some promises. And I just want to be transparent today. Yesterday was a really rough day for me. I quit my job 12 times. And I just felt like it's, it's just too much mess. Just, you know, a chat over here, an email over there. Everybody's stuck to work virtually. And the only communication is through a text or a chat or an email. And it's, you know, tones that say, if you don't log in on time, you'll be coached. And, and if you have system issues, you need to document it. And it's like, you know, just so much, just, just bang, bang, bang. Most of it is common sense. And I understand that if it doesn't apply to me, I can just ignore it. But I'm required to read it. And it just gets on my nerve. Why can't I just do my job? which I'm passionate about and just forget about that other stuff. But I learned God is teaching me something. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to be an attentive student so I can hurry up and pass this test. 
So I decided this morning, I'm going to grab my peace back. And I'm going to exercise faith that God can see the end and I can't. And since he got me, I'm going to let him take care of it. I hope this bless you this morning. It's a beautiful day. It's Friday Eve. Hey, hey, hey. So I'm just grateful that I woke up this morning and I just, we got something to talk about, you know? I mean, it don't matter how your world is falling apart. God is still good. And that's what we're going to tell ourselves all day. Oh my goodness. Another email. But God is still good. Yes, he is. Have a blessed beyond measure day. Make it productive. Make it great. It's yours to do with it what you can. It's the gift. Bye.